hello friends in this lecture we'll be discussing the next method for the valuation of goodwill and the next method is super profit super profit method right we have discussed simple average profit method and the weighted average profit method now we have super profit method now as the name suggests super profit super profit means that we are earning something extra we are earning something more than what is expected right this name itself suggests that earning is more than expected right now let's see we all have studied about capital right we introduce the person who is going to start a business will introduce some capital in the business right capital is introduced to run a business right and on this capital by running a business we will earn some profits or i can say there is some return on capital employed right now how we'll be calculating capital employed for this purpose let's see capital employed will be we have to calculate this capital employed why i'll tell you capital employed will be capital that is the amount that has been brought in by the person who is going to start a business capital plus free reserves that means the reserves which can be freely used will subtract any fictitious assets what are fictitious asset the assets the fictitious assets are actually not our assets this is an expense which has to be written off over a period of time any expense deferred revenue expenditure an expense which has to be written off over a period of time this fictitious asset will be written off from the books right this is not actually our asset so we will deduct any fictitious asset right so this is capital employed for us or we can say there is one more formula which read all assets sub minus goodwill if any appearing in the books right minus fictitious asset minus non trade investments what are non trade investments the investments which are not related to the business non trade investments that is the investments which are not related to business we invest in the shares we invest in debentures or other securities just for earning the profit but nothing is related to business then the outsiders liabilities this is how we can calculate capital employed 
either we can write capital plus free reserves minus the fictitious asset or all assets minus goodwill if any appearing in the books minus fictitious asset minus non-trade investments minus the outsiders liabilities this is our capital employed clear that depends upon the information given in the question which formula to use right now next see we have employed some capital say i employed 1 lakh as capital and i am earning 10% profit on this 10% return on capital employed right so now uh, i'll be also earning interest on this capital profit on this capital right now there will be other business also other people in the market who will be doing a similar business there will be other people in the market who will be doing a similar business as ours we have to see what they are earning on the capital employed what they are earning on capital employed right we have to see what other people in the similar business are earning whatever they are earning is called as normal rate of return that means whatever the people in the similar business are earning is known as the normal rate of return that is this much return is available in the market this much return is we are expecting that minimum this much return will be getting because this much return is available in the market every business a similar other business is earning at least this much will be earning at least this normal rate of return right so so super profit method says first of all calculate the capital employed i have told you what is normal rate of return i have told you they say first of all calculate average capital employed during year now what is average capital employed this is equal to opening capital employed opening capital plus the closing capital divided by 2 this will be the average capital employed now we will calculate normal profit normal profit is whatever the capital is employed average capital employed right into normal rate of return in the market that means on the capital employed on the average capital that we have employed we are expecting that this normal rate of return this much return we will be earning right this is our expectation right according to the market trend according to the similar business in the market we have set our expectations that at least this much return we will be getting now we will calculate the actual average profits actual average profit right like we do profits divided by number of years this will be the actual average profit now we are going to calculate the super profits 
so the super profits will be what is the actual average profits that we are earning what are the actual profits we are earning less the expected profits based on market return right this is super profits that is earning something over and above the expectation our expectation is the normal profits based on the market return that what the similar business is earning at least that much will be earning that is our expectation now what we are actually earning over and above this expectation is super profits now goodwill is simply super profits into number of years purchase that is for how many years we are expecting that we will be earning these super profits due to the past efforts in the goodwill reputation that we have developed over years right so this is how we calculate goodwill under super profits first of all we'll calculate the capital employed i have told you how to calculate the capital employed this is capital plus the free reserves minus any fictitious assets right then or we can say it is assets minus goodwill if any appearing in the balance sheet goodwill if any minus the fictitious asset minus the non trade investment minus the outsiders liabilities then i told you about the normal rate of return that is a return which a similar business in the market is earning that much is expected from our business right then we calculate average capital employed opening capital plus the closing capital divided by 2 and on this average capital employed we will calculate the normal profit that is the expected profit what is our expectation according to the market clear then we will calculate what are the actual profits we are earning and if the actual profits that we are earning is more than the expected profit those are super profits and the goodwill is super profits into number of years purchase clear so you can write this down from average capital employed 